I'm not making you a partner in my company. You just blew in on the wind Thursday. I'm calling Cy. Ah, and here's me thinking you were the boss. <laughs> In the favelas of Brazil, there are six-year-olds with glocks. They rove in packs, stealing whatever they can find. Mexican lowlives stream into this country like wolves, eyeing our women and children. In the Congo, a family of six live on 10 cents a day. You turn on the TV, what do you see? Boat people. Mass migration. You're living in the age of the refugee, my friend. Look, if you won't take back your money, well, I can't make you. You see it, don't you? Millions of people bought houses they couldn't afford, and now they're living on the streets. 85% of the world's wealth is controlled by 1% of the population. What do you think is going to happen when those people wake up and realise you've got all their money? Hey, I just charge for parking. Oh, you think they're going to ask questions when they come with their pitchforks and their torches? You live in a mansion. You drive a $90,000 car. It's a lease through the company. Look at me. Look at me. This is a $200 suit. I wear a second-hand tie, a fly couch. Not because I can't afford first, because I'm smart. So look at you, and look at me, and tell me who's the richer. All right. I feel like this is a trick question. There's an accounting coming, Mr. Stussy. And you know I'm right. Mongol hordes descending. What are you doing to insulate yourself and your family? You think you're rich. You've no idea what rich means. Rich is a fleet of private planes filled with decoys to mask your scent. It's a bunker in Wyoming and another in Gestad. So that's action item one, the accumulation of wealth. And I mean wealth, not money. What's action item number two? To use that wealth to become invisible. 